Uh, I am Dr. Ashok Sareen, Senior Consultant Nephrologist at Apollo Hospital, New Delhi. The reason why I am speaking to you is that nowadays people are very concerned about their kidneys and awareness of kidney problems. Let me tell you that the commonest uh, kidney causes of kidney disease are diabetes and hypertension. As you know, both these diseases are very common and they can give rise to kidney damage. But there is a lot of prevention in this and there is a lot of uh, things we can do so that our kidneys remain intact even though we have diabetes and hypertension. Now, in, in diabetes, we must maintain our blood sugar fasting 100 milligrams percent, postprandial, that is two hours after a meal, at 140 milligrams percent, and an HbA1c of 6 percent. If, if we are able to maintain our blood sugars at these levels, it is very unlikely that kidney damage will occur. Now, the test, very important test, early test <coughs> for finding out whether the kidneys are involved is microalbuminuria. Now, if our microalbumin is more than 20, then we can, uh, under the supervision of our doctor, we can take additional drugs which are known as ACE inhibitors or ARBs. But again, this has to be under the consultation of your doctor. Now, there are many things which I want to tell you which can prevent you from becoming a diabetic. For example, your weight. So if your weight is well under control according to your height and your BMI is maintained, then again, this is a positive point. Then exercise. We must indulge in regular exercise every day. And we must uh, take a diet which is not rich in uh, sugars and sweets and carbohydrate, but a balanced diet of protein, carbohydrate and vitamins. And we should take a diet of about 1600 if a person is lean to 2000 calories per day. We must combine vegetables and appropriate fruits in our diet. And of course, smoking is a complete no-no. So if we adopt a good lifestyle, this will not only benefit our kidneys, but also our heart and our brain and eyes. So the whole body benefits by these measures. And of course, the kidneys will always benefit. Then the other common cause of uh, kidney damage is hypertension. Very often we ignore checking, uh, and I want to tell you here that regular medical checkups, I, I would say even after the age of 30 nowadays, should be done. And at least once a year, if a person is about 40, 50, even once in six months. And very often uh, the, the uh, things which we do not anticipate that this blood sugar is going to go up or our blood pressure is going to up, go up is picked up. On a, uh, on a blood test or a medical examination. Today only I had a patient who was about 75 years old and he never knew that he was a diabetic. He was lean and thin but his HbA1c was 12%. Now that is double of what it should be. He's, he's, he's a severe diabetic. And this was picked up so late because he never went for a medical checkup. And this is very, very common in our country although on the other hand there are a lot of people who are now very aware and are getting medical checkups done. Now our blood pressure should always be around 120 in oblique 80 millimeters of mercury. That is our systolic should be 120 millimeters and our diastolic should be 80 millimeters of mercury. And once it is 140-90, the blood pressure is high and it should be treated by a doctor. Of course, the weight is again becomes very important in hypertension and we find that obese people or pe people who are put on a, a weight also suffer from hypertension. And we think, very often we think that a blood pressure 140-90 or 150-100 is not going to cause any damage, but actually it does. You know, both these diseases, people wonder why this has happened to me, because they start a pathological process. Now, a patient with hypertension or 140-90 may not have a headache. And there may be no symptoms to indicate that he's got hypertension or a blood sugar, a fasting blood sugar of 130, 140 milligrams may not actually cause any symptoms in the patient. 
but it is enough to initiate an arterial pathology, uh, you know, di diabetic arterial disease or hypertensive arterial disease, and the arteries are afflicted in both these conditions, and that is why slowly the, the, the arteries get damaged and the end organs or the target organs, namely the kidney, uh, gets involved. So if we must get regular checkups and if our blood pressure is well below 140-90, that is about 120-80 or 125-80 millimeters of mercury, then we are very unlikely to develop uh, kidney disease because of hypertension. Of course, when, when, when hypertension does develop, then blood pressure medication should be taken uh, under the supervision of a, of a doctor. Even our uh, diabetes drugs should be taken under the supervision of a doctor. Of course, I want to add here that again, I am going to emphasize that exercise, regular exercise, will help to mitigate the effects of hypertension and will uh, reduce the chances of hypertension and diabetes. So again, I'm, again and again, I am dwelling upon exercise. And of course, smoking is a complete no-no.